and then they've been cleaned up and painted waiting for me to get back on the job and reassemble them so it's all waiting 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 I think we'll call this week update week because I'm going to give you an update on the lawns now so I had Liam down from Sydney mower hire and we ran the blades through and took the thatch out of the lawn and really looked like we scarified it. It did a pretty heavy job on it. it took a, just about a six before load of grass off the lawn. And now it's a couple of weeks later and it's coming back really good. So what we're looking at now, it's Kaikuri. Um, I mowed it last night. You can see the lines in it. It's just starting to come back nice. But what did happen is we got a lot of beetle. So I sprayed, uh, I've sprayed twice now for beetle the last week or so and the birds are out every morning cleaning them up. So there's none to see, but I can assure you there was like a dozen birds out here this morning cleaning up all the, the grubs and stuff off it. And it's really responded much better since I've done that. So water, fertiliser, keep the bugs out, keep it mown, and you get a nice lawn, loving it. So following on with the lawn scene, I talked about what I'm using. So this is the grub one that I was talking about. So most of this just comes from Bunnings normally. So that's the bug and um, so the, the real bad ones are the African black beetle and the, the curl grub for us here. And then I surplus that with some sea sole. And I've been using this one, this um, green up. I mean, if you've got something coming up, a bit of a party or whatever, you want a green lawn, this one greens it up in about four or five hours. And I read that and thought, oh yeah, that's not right. But I can tell you it does. So it's got a lot of iron and a lot of magnesium in it. And that works a treat as well. So that's the, the treatment and then I always use Shirley's number 17 in the granular form but I'm just out of that at the moment. So that just gives you an idea what I've been using. So following on with them updates, I keep getting asked about the panel van. Poor old panel van, so two year anniversary is just up. So the intent was to get it done and of course I've just been so busy and then I pulled this YouTube thing on which has just taken a lot of time. So it's normally in the front shed just under a cover and I've dragged it out here now because you don't stop thinking about these things and I made a pretty clear decision to, after the summer nats, looking at all those cars in the hall to change the wheels. So I bought some um, 18 eights and nines and tyres to go on it and I've just made a decision now to get rid of those and probably go back to my roots a bit more and maybe run a 15 or a 16. So I'm going to make that decision fairly shortly and probably get a concept drawing done with some of the ideas I've got. So it's out stuck in the booth at the moment, um, trying to keep it out of the way and I'll make some decisions and I'll keep you updated when something happens but at the moment there's not much happening at all with it. Those that don't know the car, it's a 77 Rally Pack 302 4 speed Borg Warner and then Power Steer Air Car all from the factory so pretty good combo and all of those bits are all there so you know I've got myself another a new gearbox, a Power Steer box for it and we've done the motor, done the gearbox, done the diff, got most of the brake side of it sorted out. We've actually upgraded the front brakes um, and we'll cover all this later. And the car was a Ningen car, so someone found it out at Ningen, dragged it out, put it into the auctions and then I seen it there and it was under a tarp for about 25 years I'm told and I've tracked down the owner, the original owner or his son at least, and the guy that originally purchased it was an earth mover and he used the car to drive out on site and used to sleep in it and then drive back into town at the end of the week. So it's only done 52,000 k's and I believe those kilometres to be correct. And you can see in there, you know, the gearbox is sitting there all waiting. The, the fuel tank, as they do, they tend to rust out on the bottom. So I've scored another one and I've cleaned up the bottom of that and put a coat of epoxy on it just to keep it under control and um, we've just got a boat tank in there at the moment to be able to run it when we get it going again but really dry and clean underneath and inside and all of the original bits and pieces the dash and that's all in pretty good condition and the guy had converted it to a square headlight grill and i believe it you know hit an emu or something and back in the day and instead of going with the rally pack he stayed, went with the, the fairmont so I'm pretty happy about that because I converted mine back in the day as well. So I've had those lights all re-silvered and they're in one of the earlier programs, but we'll recover that later. So yeah, it's sitting waiting and um, I will get to it just right at the moment. Just not enough hours in the day to do everything we're doing. So it's just going to sit and wait a bit longer and it'll probably end up back out in the front shed. 
So I've just come in the container just to give you a bit of a look at this panel van stuff. So just to give you an idea, so I've got been collecting new old stock bits for it where I see them and I can. So they're the surrounds for the square headlight. And then I've got the rear lenses in new old stock now. The front parkers, they're a repo, but they're a really nice repo. So I've got those. And then I've been cleaning the headlights up. So I've got um, the lens, lenses all cleaned up. Let's see, they're not, there's a spare set. Um, but there's another set here somewhere. Indicator lenses, this one's a repo. So if I see these things, I grab them. So the washer bottle. So you can tell by that the engine bay is going to be pretty stock looking. And then I've got all the suspension stuff organised. So um, bill stains front and rear. For those people that follow me fairly closely know that I have a really good relationship with Lovell Springs. So we've got new front springs, the rear springs are already in it. And then a lot of this stuff won't be used, but it's really good original parts. So I'm keeping those, you know, for either later projects or whatever. The distributor is being, I've already got that cleaned up, sandblasted. I think I might have, yeah, no, we sandblasted that one. I was going to say we might have blasted that with the, um, the water blaster. And then all the parts for that are here, waiting on Howard, of course. So fortunately, I've got a workshop manual, so I pulled that apart and then I'll clean all those bits up and I'm going to run the electronic um, module that goes inside those, like an aftermarket. So it'll be, it'll look original, but it'll be aftermarket. And then I've done the alternator, so it's been, you know, all re-catted. Re so that's the original one. And then I've been collecting rubbers, clutch, pressure plate, starter motor. Yeah, it sort of goes on and on and on. Um, and then the brakes. So I've got all the, the new parts for those and I've cleaned all those up and been fortunate enough to find, you know, all the original replacement parts for those rear brakes. And that probably doesn't look too good there, but so that's a kit to do those. So all the, the wearing parts on those. And then they've been cleaned up and painted, waiting for me to get back on the job and reassemble them. So it's all waiting, 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 waiting. Um, what else have we got here? So I lashed out and bought a bubble window for it. So it's got that up there, the bubble window. Yeah, it just goes on and on and on. So there's some things happening but it's just been put away for the moment and I'll get back to it when I can get back to it. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on where I'm at with this, trying to do the bio. So we've got the program that's going every couple of weeks that's going to be the history of my life. We've done the first one. One of the issues is photos. As you can see on the table here, I've dragged out photos from everywhere, out of the container, out of the house. There's all albums underneath the, the, the bottom here. Um, fortunately, we've got all this information. So. Now it's a case of collating it. So all the car stuff, we've gone into piles, the Mustang, the Fairlane, Rock 3, 2, 1, you know, I had a nice AU, all that sort of stuff's here. And I'm trying to collate it into piles and then work out other things about, you know, traveling with the kids to car shows. And there's just so many photos, it's unbelievable. So I'm trying to work through the process and I'm sort of really happy the way it's coming out, but it's been a massive effort. And then I've also got all these magazines. Over the years, we collect all these magazines and we've been put away. So these are all magazines that have cars that I've built in them. And these are all the early ones. So Rock 3, the Mustang, you know, Pioneer Coupe. This one here is pretty cool where we actually did the drive. So I think something at 17 it was, I bought the car back and we actually drove the car from Broken Hill all the way um, over to Canberra for the something at 17 before I'd sold that and gave it away. So that's all going to be in the future issue of my bio, which is the, the, the full life of Howard Astle. So we're doing that work and um, hopefully enjoying that as well. So that's every second week on the Thursday afternoon. So just to round out this week, I just thought I'd show you some of the stuff we're doing on Boss XC. So this is a Cobra front spoiler that we've made quite a lot of modifications on for this particular car. So the next episode of Road to Top 60 is in another couple of weeks. Um, and 
really interesting stuff on how we're doing the actual fiberglass work. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out for it. It'll be a couple of weeks' time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that helps me to continue to grow the channel and bring more information to you. And make a comment, and I always get back to people that make a comment. So do that. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you on YouTube. I just touched that again then, and I've done that a few times while and I'm filming. So because your finger's up there and you touch that, mm. and then you lose it. Mm.